4D Opening Treasure Chest Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hello everybody! In today's video I'm going to be showing you the third installment in my pirate themed series and so if you missed the first two definitely check those out. There will be links for them in the description box below. The first one was a Jolly Roger themed design and the second one was a pirate ship and a really extreme extreme pirate ship. But today's video is going to be a pirate treasure chest that actually <laughs> opens up so you can see all the goodies inside and then I've got the chains and everything spilled across the nail. It's got a gorgeous sandy glitter base. I love this. I love all three of these because they're so over the top and crazy. I hope you like them as much as I do. And don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. For this nail, I'm going to begin with an overlay of a really gorgeous sandy glitter acrylic. This one has just the best background for this nail I could possibly find. And then I'm going to encase it with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure that that glitter does not get harmed in the filing process. And now I'm going to be filing this nail into shape with my e-file. I started out with a coarse bit to remove any bulk and then switched over to a finer bit just to go over the whole thing and smooth it out so it's nice and easy to work on top of. So now that we've got that done, I'm going to be sculpting the top of my treasure chest around a plastic straw. So the straw is going to give the top of your treasure chest that nice curved shape that they're known for. So you're going to want to sculpt it around about 50% of the straw with the length that you want your treasure chest, treasure chest to be. So tuck in the sides a little bit of that and then set that to the side and let it... Um, let it cure until it's completely hardened. So don't try to pop it off the straw too soon or you're going to end up having to redo it and it'll just, it'll just be a regretful moment for you. So just cover that up like so, pat it out until it's nice and smooth and then leave it. And so after it is set up and you can't pop it off, which to pop it off all you have to do is gently pinch the straw and it'll pop right off. But we're going to take and set that against a nail form backing and then fill in the two ends. So you're going to fill in the one end and then as you can see that kind of caps it off. Flip it over and fill in the other end so that they it doesn't have this see-through sort of a look to it. Then set that on a piece of a post-it note and then draw the shape of the rectangle around it. This is going to help you create a template for the four sides of the base of your treasure chest. So there's the other four side or the other two sides and then like a nail form backing over the top of the drawing and this is going to create a nice little template for you so that you can sculpt the four sides of the bottom. And you don't necessarily need to sculpt them to the height that you would think of a treasure chest being. So these are probably half the height if you were to actually think of a treasure chest. But I wanted it to look like it was partially buried in the sand. So for that you don't need it to stand up that far off the nail since the nail is the sand and it's going to be partially in the sand, it can be a little shorter. So pat those sides out, make sure the edges are nice and clean and straight, at least to the best of your ability. So there's the first two long sides, and then you're going to go through and sculpt the shorter sides. And as you can see, you can move your nail form backing. It doesn't have to stay in the exact same spot for sculpting the different areas so that you don't have to worry about accidentally sculpting two things right next to each other and having them run together or anything like that. So after you do the one part, you can just slide the nail form backing over and you can see through the template or see through to the template still and get the rest of it drawn. And after you have all of those done, you can glue them together. So you're just going to put a little bit of glue on one of the edges and then take and hold the next piece on. Definitely use a tweezers or a little um, embellishment picker if you have one to help you glue these pieces together because it'll make it so much easier to work with. Glue that last side on there, and then glue the rectangle to the nail. As you can see, the rectangle doesn't look perfect. It looks fairly uh, breakable and delicate. We'll fix that in a minute. But first, we're going to be gluing two glass seed beads in gold to the back of the treasure chest. So on the opposite side from where you want the opening to be. So this is the hinge. So glue those two little beads down in place, just like so. And then we're going to take and we're going to be filling in the treasure chest. So this part here is kind of a tedious pain in the butt because you have to fill in those triangles as you can see that are on the sides. If you wanted to, just like how we filled in the ends of the top of the treasure chest, you could have taken that rectangle and set it down on a nail form backing and filled in the bottom before attaching it to the nail. Probably would be something that I would recommend instead of doing it the way that I did it. You know, hindsight is 2020, but this also works, you just have to play around with the acrylic a little bit more to get it to fill in all of those gaps. It's actually not too bad, it's just if you know if you want to make life easier on yourself, I'd probably do it that way. Then you're going to fill in 
any of the seams on the sides of the treasure chest from where you glue the different pieces together. If they don't line up perfectly smooth, they're just going to be a little line where one side sticks out farther than the other. So fix that up as well. And kind of just touch it up with more of that shimmery bronze acrylic color. And then I'm going to take some more of my sandy gold color and I'm going to apply it around the outside of the treasure chest with it kind of rippling up over the sides a little bit. So it looks, like I said before, like my treasure chest is partially buried, like it's hiding in there a little bit. And just keep filling in, do that on all sides so that it really looks like it got unearthed by a big wave or something. And then after you have all of those done, we're going to hold the top of the treasure chest up to the bottom and then taking a Sharpie, mark where there's those two glass seed beads hit the back of the treasure chest. Just make two little spots on there. And then take your e-file and carve out little ovals, or little half circles, I mean, on those marks. String a little piece of wire through those beads in the treasure chest, which my little piece of thread or wire kept wanting to fall out to the back side. And then you're going to line those beads up so they fit into those grooves, and then secure that piece of wire onto the top side of the treasure chest. So the beads are attached to the bottom and the wire is attached to the top. This makes it so that your hinge works and your hinge will open and your treasure chest works really, really well. But then we're going to decorate our treasure chest with acrylic paints. And this is so much fun, you guys, because you can really have fun with it and do different um, designs on it if you want. You can make this thing look super fancy or like it's just an old chest that was in the bottom of the ocean for the past century or whatever you want to do. So I started out with some gray paint and I did some outlining on it. Think of like the brackets that would hold it together, hold all the wood planks together for the treasure chest. So I just went around the entire border of it with those, with those gray lines. And then to further the detail of those, I'm going to add some black dots for the rivets that are holding everything together. So really quickly, just a touch of black on like that. And then with the black, I'm going to dilute it slightly so it's not quite so intense. And I'm going to be um, just outlining the individual planks of wood. So just stripes going across the whole treasure chest to fill those in. On the bottom, you can't see them as much because of the sand coming up on top of it. And then with some gold, I'm going to start by lining up where the beads are in the back of it and create the straps that go across the top of the treasure chest. Like I said, you can have so much fun with this and kind of make it your own. You could definitely do like a skull and crossbones design on the front of the treasure chest or whatever your heart desires. Now is the really fun part because we're going to be glitzifying this entire nail. So I'm going to take some jewelry gel and apply it in sort of a swirling pattern over the sand for where I want my chain to be. And I'm also going to fill in the treasure chest with that jewelry gel. And jewelry gel is just a really thick gel that its purpose is for adhering jewels to nails or, you know, crystals or whatever it is that you have. So after I've got that down, I'm going to string my little chain across the nail and then I wrapped it around the tip a little bit. And then I'm just going to take and press it down in and really fix it up a little bit, kind of move and play around with it till I'm happy with the shape. And I'm going to grab a whole bunch of pointy bottom crystals and I'm using pointy bottom ones because they'll give a little bit more of a height difference inside the treasure chest. And I'm going to fill in that treasure chest with all of those little ornamental details in there. And another thing that I use that I just had on hand is I have a um, anchor shaped gold stud that was the perfect size for the snail. So I placed that in there or right on the side of my treasure chest as well. So I'm going to put a little bit more jewelry down underneath where I'm going to set that guy and then place that little anchor. And then once you're happy with all of the placement, you're going to want to put that nail in the lamp for a couple minutes and then apply gel sealer over the background, making sure that all of that sand gets nice and shiny. That's really gonna show off that glitter really well. And then apply some matte top coat over the treasure chest and that is it. I love this whole series. If you missed either of the two, I will put links to them in the description box below. So check for those. These are just so much fun and so over the top and fantastical that every time I look at them, I just kind of, I'm just so happy. So I hope you guys like them as much as I do and tag me in any recreations on Facebook or Instagram and I'll see you next time. Bye.